Hello and uh, welcome back to my video. In this video, I will show how you can use list CSS inside Webpack, how you can compile your, your list files and how you, you can use it in your own project. So let's begin. The first we want to do is uh, go into the resource folder and add a new file in the list uh, folder. So let's call it app. Inside here, I will say color sky blue and then we want to say the body should be background should be sky blue and we save the file sorry it's not this and we change the color the color variable and set it to background and then we save the file and now we want to to go for the webpack configuration file and we add a model Inside the model, we add rules in array and the dictionary. First, it should be tested on all our um, all our list files. It's regular expression, so that's why I escape a dot. And then we a dollar sign and a close. And we want to exclude our node folder. And then we need to add our loaders. In this case, we want to style loader. Our CSS loader. And then our list loader. It's saying first the list loader, and then the CSS loader, and then the style loader to, to compile our list files. So let's beginning inside our app.js file. <clears throat> here we want to require go back go inside the list and app list and then we need uh, to say npm install uh, style loader save in, in our own node folder so we can have it in that package json file later And then we want a CSS loader. And then the list loader. And then we use the run with pack. Everything should run smooth, but it doesn't. Uh, cannot find the model list. Okay, then I need to install the model list. It's a little bit weird. It's taking a little a while to extract this one, but it's, it happens sometimes. <coughs> Stop it. Okay, now it's running. Interesting. Uh, let's oops, let's run the web pack again. And now it's running. So you need to install the, the list package too, sorry. And then we are good to go. If I'm right now, and I will open our file. We allow all the work to be this. So you can say the font size here 
should be the, the define of font size. So let's create this one again. Should be 28 pixels. And I want to compile it. You can see it's compiled now and it's working. If you right click and say inspect element, <coughs> you can see in the head we have the style here and it's compiled to the inline style. So this is this uh, video is uh, continue from the last video, Hello World, from uh, where I learned you the basic about Webpack. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make a comment below if you have any questions. Uh, like my video. I hope you want to share it and add it to your playlist. And of course, I hope you want to subscribe my videos. See you next time.